Anybody can cut off hair, but a good barber knows when and where to stop. It's a saying 92-year-old Rex Rogers lives by. This Utah resident has been cutting hair for seven decades. But as new specialist Ashley Moser explains, he's putting down the scissors for good. Dini, he is. He had his last client today. We were lucky enough to witness it. Rex Barbershop right here on Fort Street in Draper opened its doors back in 1957. It's a small shop, but for Rex Rogers, it's all he has, which is why it was so difficult today for him to say goodbye. For Rex Rogers, the sound of a razor is music to his ears. It's a sound that's brought him comfort since 1943 when he picked one up for the first time. <laughs> it all started when Rogers was in the Navy, waiting in line to get his hair cut, when the barber explained it would be a while since there were only two stylists on shift. He says, I wished I could find someone to cut hair. And I said, how about me, Snyder? And he said, can you cut hair, Rogers? I says, no. And he dropped his tools and said, come with me. The rest is history. He began cutting his comrade's hair and got pretty good at it. A nickel was a big tip back in them days. When he came home, he went to barber school, worked for a couple of years, and then looked to open his own business. In 1957, he got his shot. My wife said, honey, I found you a barber shop. I said, where's that? She said, downtown Draper, right here in Draper. I walk all the way over here to 95. <laughs> It's been 59 years since he opened his doors. He's seen hundreds of clients come in and out, attributing his success to word of mouth. I'd give them a good shave and a good haircut, and they'd tell their friends, and their friends would come to me. And it was great. great. Chicken. Only way to serve our customers right. One of his clients you just might recognize. Yep, that's Colonel Sanders. I shaved him and trimmed his beard, cut his hair, and uh, he wouldn't let anybody else do it. A lot of folks will... <laughs> really feel uh, a loss. Saying goodbye is Thank bittersweet. You. Thank you again. Close. But Close. looking back at his time behind this chair, he admits yeah, he has no regrets. If you live your life by the clock, you're losing time. Rex is reluctantly retiring to focus on his health and also his family. And when I asked him what he's going to be doing with his spare time, he says fishing and perhaps a cruise. Well-deserved. Live in Draper, Ashley Moser, KSL 5 News. Back to you.